guys, welcome back to The Ratchet Christian. My name is Asmao and I am The Ratchet Christian. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing, but... <laughs> um, hi, I guess I'm laughing because I'm just so excited to talk about this topic. It's been on my mind all week and it's a conversation that I want to have. Today, I want to talk about... Oh, and continuing our series of Can We Talk About It? What I want to talk about is self-love. Uh, how dreamy. I want to talk about self-love. Like, how do you love yourself? Did you know that how you treat others is a clear indication of how you feel about yourself? Let's go to the scriptures. So Matthew 22 verse 37 through 39 says, And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Who's your neighbor? Every other person that's not you, that's who your neighbor is. And as I'm looking around the world and I'm seeing all the racial tension that's going on, all the political divide that's going on, I'm seeing so much hatred that it's like insane. And it's just really got me thinking like, People don't love themselves well, and so that's why it's so hard for them to love other people. You know, I'm po very politically outspoken. I'm very outspoken about, you know, being for the protection and equality of like black lives and, and all lives. And I disagree with a lot of people on a lot of things, but when it comes down to it, I'm not gonna hate somebody because of their political beliefs. I'm not gonna hate somebody because of their different lifestyles. Like just because I disagree with you does not mean I do not care about you. And a lot of people have lost that ability to do that. Like you can disagree with somebody and still like them. You know what I mean? Um, so to get back to loving others as you love yourself, I wanted to ask you this question like, do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? I want you to take a minute and really ask yourself and think about it like, do I love myself? Mm-hmm. Yep. I remember somebody asked me this question like a couple months ago, like, do you love yourself? And I'm like, yeah, of course I love myself. But I had to really, really seriously dig and sit and think like, do I love myself consistently? I think I had moments where I loved myself really well and then there were moments where I didn't love myself as much as I should have. And so as I started like, you know, really just working through that question, I got to a better understanding of what self-love was, you know what I mean? And what self-love looked like for me. So like self-love starts at how do you talk to yourself? How do you treat yourself? You know, like what commitments do you make to yourself? Do you do you care for your physical body? Do you care for your emotional health? Like, do you take good care of yourself? Now that I'm an adult, I realize like, now is my opportunity. I'm, I'm raising myself. I am in charge of myself. And I can honestly say that I take great care of myself. You know, I'm responsible, I pay my bills. Not only that, like I try to make sure that I take care of myself like physically, you know, make sure I eat a fruit and a vegetable, exercise, sleep, you know, um, and just take care of this body because it's the only one that I have. And so what self-love looks like for me is one self-care like i said making sure that i shower making sure that i take care of my skin making sure that i eat at least one fruit or one vegetable a day uh, uh i'm not like a super health freak i'm not like i'm not fitness bay i don't want to go to the gym all the time but i do try to make sure i exercise at least once or twice a week i'll go on a walk um i make sure i, I drink a lot of water i eat vegetables and if I'm having a week where I'm like eating fast food all the time, I know I, I can feel in my body that I need to like just go eat some salads and have an avocado and, and, and relax on all the french fries, you know what I mean? So taking care of myself physically is one. Um, and then watching my thoughts and how I talk to myself. Like I, I, I guard my thoughts and how I talk to myself. You know, sometimes I'll have moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I look crazy, my hair looks bad, I'm like sweating, my mustache is sweating, like all these things. And I'm just like, wait, no, we're not gonna talk to ourselves like that. And we're not gonna criticize ourselves because I know that I don't talk to other people like that. You know, I don't let myself talk to myself in ways that I don't talk to other people. I don't go around telling other people they look ugly, so I don't allow myself to tell myself that I look ugly. 
you know, and the enemy will get you. He'll plant these little thoughts that sound like they're yours, but it's not really from you. You know, if I wake up feeling regretful about something that happened in the past, I'm just like, no, I'm actually not going to think about that all day. You know, I'm actually going to um, forgive myself for that because God has forgiven me for that. So I capture the thoughts and bring it unto the obedience of Christ. If it's not in alignment with how God feels about me, I reject it. You know what I mean? If I'm criticizing myself and talking down to myself, I'm just like, nah, we're not going to do that. But it's because I'm mindful and I patrol my thoughts. Um, the third way that I take care of myself and love myself is acknowledging how I feel and processing my thoughts. You know what I mean? I used to be a person who like buried my emotions a lot and just didn't think about it and push it to the side. But Self-love for me looks like me processing how I feel about something. Taking a minute to just sit down and be like, you know what, that really made me mad. I really didn't like what that person said to me. And really just taking the time to like make sense of things instead of pretending like they didn't happen. You know what I mean? If I'm mad about something, I'm not afraid to tell you, yeah, I'm mad. If I'm sad, I'm not afraid to say that I'm sad. You know, I acknowledge my feelings and I process my feelings. And I have these tools to be able to do all this emotional work because I've had years of therapy. You know what I mean? I've been in therapy, in and out of therapy for a good amount of my life for, for various reasons. And so I am a big uh, supporter of therapy. You can have Jesus and a therapist too. Go to therapy, it helps a lot and it gives you the tools that you need to do the emotional work that you need to do to get to a better place with yourself. Um, so acknowledging how I feel, processing my emotions. The fourth way that I, I self love is by making time for myself. I make time for myself. I hang out with myself, by myself. I love people, but I can't be around people all day every day I love my friends but I don't want to hang out with my friends every day I enjoy spending time by myself I enjoy my own company I take myself out to eat I'll go shopping like I remember I was talking to my friend Val um, and she was just like I don't know we were just talking about something and she gave me the idea of like oh why don't you like plan something fun to do you know because I, I work two jobs I I pay all my bills and all the stuff and it's like I never really used to spend money on myself because I would feel bad you know feel like I'm being irresponsible she was like no why don't you set some money aside every paycheck and go do something fun and so Fridays became my days Fridays I would plan something fun for myself you know what I mean or I would buy something that I want you know if I'm saving up to buy this really nice perfume that I want or I want a pair of shoes or I want to go shopping I'll take myself out to eat I'll go to the beach like Fridays are my days and on Fridays I ask myself I say so and myself is like yeah I'm like what do you want to do today we can do whatever you want let's go do something fun because I work all throughout the week I'm doing my YouTube I'm doing my acting I have to make sure that I make time for myself and make time to spend money on myself you know so I have date days on Fridays by myself nobody else is invited <laughs> um, except for God God can come him and I talk we hang out <laughs> um, so another way that I self-love is by standing up for myself when people are treating me bad. I used to be a notorious people pleaser, you know what I mean? I used to just let people talk to me any way that they wanted to, treat me any way that they wanted to, because I didn't want to make them uncomfortable. But I realized I did that at my own detriment, you know, because I didn't want to make somebody else feel uncomfortable. I let them make me feel uncomfortable. And now I'm just not having it. Maybe it's because I'm 27 and I'm older now, but when somebody's treating me wrong, in that moment, I say something about it. You know, I used to spend days and weeks thinking like dang I should have said something you know what I mean oh the next time they say something to me I'm gonna say say something to them but now in the moment like if somebody's talking crazy to me I'm like I'm sorry but you actually can't talk to me like that you know if something's wrong in the moment I'm gonna let you know you're annoying me I don't like that you did this I don't like that you did that this is how you're making me feel and that's not okay my favorite statement nowadays is like that's actually not okay you know what I mean like and that has been really really like lo like loving for me you know to know that I can protect myself and be my own protector and you know put my foot down and be like you know what nah we're actually not gonna do that you're actually not gonna say that to me you're actually not gonna make me feel this way or you know accuse me of this and this and that I'm gonna respect your opinion but at the same time you can go this far and no further and that has just been like oh, so amazing boundaries has been one of my favorite things having boundaries with people baby <laughs> let me tell you boundaries is where it's at I love boundaries when I draw a line and say you can't cross this you can't cross it and I mean it and I'm trying to tell you get boundaries boundaries are your best friend some people might not like it but those are the people who want to treat you bad people who don't like when you have boundaries are the ones who the boundaries are for so get you some boundaries I'm telling you you won't regret it 
Um, another way I take care of myself, and I already said this, is taking care of myself like physically, spiritually, how I treat my, my physical body well. I treat my spirit well, you know? I make sure that I pray every single day. I need God. I have to start my day talking to God because if not, I'm going to snap on one of y'all. Um, so I need God. I have to make sure that I pray, go to church, read my word, um, spend time in community. I don't want to spend too much time by myself. I have to make sure that I spend time with other people and just take care of my spiritual health because my spirit is just as important as my body. So I make sure every day that I wake up, I connect with God because I need God. I need him. And so... Um, I just spiritually maintain my spiritual health by making sure that me and Jesus have a conversation every single day. Um, and then the last but not least uh, way that I self-love is, you know, calling myself out. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you can love yourself, but you don't want to let it get to the point of narcissism where you can't do anything wrong and everybody else is to blame for everything. Like, I think self-love is having a clear and accurate, like, uh, self image you know what I mean not thinking that you're higher than anybody else or thinking better of yourself than you should but also not putting yourself beneath people and not thinking less of yourself than you should you know what I mean like when I do something wrong I can acknowledge that I shouldn't have did that I shouldn't have said that and I'm sorry you know when I wish I would have done something better I could tell myself like I didn't do a good job on that and I wish I would have done a better job you know what I mean? But then if I do something good, I'm also able to tell myself like, good job. Like Esmao, like you did a really good job on that. Like sis, you snapped on the makeup today. What's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm able to have a, a clear and accurate depiction of myself where I'm just like, okay, like I need to chill in this area of my life. And um, so it's just kind of like accountability. You know, love is accountability. You can't have love without accountability. And so you need to be accountable to yourself. When you do something wrong, you need to own up to it. And if you have to apologize to somebody, you need to be able to do that. And if somebody brings something to you and says that you wronged them in some way, even if you may not agree, you need to hear people out because sometimes you have blind spots. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought I was a prideful person until somebody called me out. Like, you have a lot of pride. And I, and I just kind of had to, like, sit with that for a moment and go to God. I'm like, God, am I prideful? And he's like, uh, yeah. And so I was like, you know what? You're right. I see it in this moment, in that moment. Like, help me work through that pride because I know that you hate pride. And even recently, God had to tell me, like, you're being too prideful at work. You act like you don't need that job and you're going to be mad if you lose it. And I'm just like... You're right, God. Forgive me. Humble me. Help me to be more of a humble servant at work. You know what I mean? God loves me and God treats me well, but God also has tough conversations with, with me and holds me accountable. And I have to do that with myself. You know what I mean? Where I have tough conversations with myself and be like, girl, like, what are you doing? You know, you shouldn't be doing that. You know what I mean? Um, but not all my conversations are like that with myself, you know? So it's about balance. Self-love is about balance. So that's what self-love looks like for me. Um, it's going to look completely different for you because you have different needs than I do. You know the things that you need. And instead of waiting for somebody to do those for you or bring those into your life, like I treat myself the way that I want other people to treat me so that when other people come into my life, there's already a standard. You know, I don't talk to myself in certain ways, so I don't allow other people to talk to me in certain ways. And so figure out like what do you need to feel love and start doing those things for yourself. And then uh, one thing I wanted to add is like keep the plans that you make with yourself. You know, I, I had to realize that like plans that I make with myself and commitments that I make with myself count. If I say, oh, I'm going to sleep in on, on Sunday because I've been tired all week and somebody calls me like, hey, do you want to go out on Sunday? I would be like, oh, yeah, sure you know and just totally ditch myself and ditch the plans that i have with myself and even god called me out like that's not okay you know if i had money set aside to buy something for myself that i wanted and then something pops up and i'm like oh i shouldn't spend the money on that i should spend the money on this and god's like no you made that commitment to yourself go ahead and spend the money on that because you said that you you would you know i don't like when people don't keep their word to me and i had to realize that i, I did it to myself you know so keep the commitments that you make with yourself if you make plans with yourself those are valid. You have plans and that counts as something. If I plan on Thursday that I'm not doing anything, that's my plan on Thursday. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, like I'm just so passionate about this topic because I feel like on here we talk about how to treat others. We talk about our relationship with God, but we need to have moments when we talk about our relationships with ourselves. Like how do you treat yourself? Treat yourself better because you're amazing. God brought you here right now so you could hear this. And I could tell you that you're beautiful. Like, you're so beautiful. Literally, you right now, you're watching this. Like, I know you look good. 
and you, sir, that's watching this, I know that you're handsome. Mm. What? Somebody's gonna be so lucky to end up with you one day? Like, and not only that, you're watching this because I'm sure you love God, you love Jesus. So how are you gonna be a woman of God, a man of God, all handsome, all fine, all achieving, successful? Like, you're just everything. And I love you. And you're amazing. And you should feel that way about yourself too. Okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and please share this video with one or two of your friends because you know somebody needs to hear it, okay? Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next week on whatever it is that we're going to talk about. Bye.